Hi and welcome to Beauty by Carmen R. Today I'm doing a video on how to become a nail tech, steps to take. I didn't want to do a live, so I did a voiceover. Those are pictures of me and you'll see pictures of some of my work. It's kind of mixed from when I started and where I'm at now. Um, I've been a nail tech on and off for four years. I say on and off because when I first got licensed, I pretty much worked somewhere for like a week. I said, I'm not making enough money. I ended up working a customer service type position and I ended up going back to nails. So I've been doing nails, I would say two and a half, maybe three years now. And at first it's not easy. I'm not going to lie to you once you get out of school, but I'll break all that down later in the video. Let's start with what you need to do to get licensed. So the first thing you need to do is figure out the rules and regulations of your state. Most states, you have to do a certain amount of school hours. In our state, it's 300. So it takes about two months to be able to go take the test and get licensed. So during school, how I went, we pretty much went through the book. And they don't teach you a lot of acrylic in school. So my suggestion is if you love acrylic, practice it while you're in school or, you know, before you go to school or after school, they pretty much teach you how to do a basic mani, a basic petty, and teach you like all the sanitation and different diseases that's on the test. So you pretty much learn what's going to be on the test. So when you got out to the real world, everything's completely different. That's the only thing. So while you're in school, you're going to do classroom hours and you're going to do hours on the floor, which will perform services on random people who come into the school. I'm not sure now with COVID how it's going to work, but that's how it usually works. So once schooling is done, um, you go ahead and you take your state test. Now here, there's two levels. There's regular manicures and advanced manicures. So it goes pretty much like how high your test score is to get those. So when you go into the testing, you'll have to polish one nail, show them how to do a manicure, a wrap, and I forgot it's a couple other things, but each state is different. So you can Google your state and put testing and figure out exactly what you have to do. But the most important thing, honestly, is the written. And the most thing that I seen was the different like diseases, bacteria, and sanitation is really huge. So definitely study those. Once you're done with that, you're going to go, of course, into the real world. Now, once you go into different salons, everyone does everything differently. And that's when you're going to see like, oh, my God, I learned this in school, but it's completely different. Now, for me, I decided to go to a salon that did mostly acrylics and I wasn't really taught acrylics. So I was so slow and the customers would be so upset like. It was ridiculous. So I didn't get a lot of clients. And honestly, it was hard for me because I went in trying to build myself. So my suggestion, just me personally, I prefer to start at an Asian salon. So once I left there, I worked a customer service position. Then a friend told me about this Asian salon that was hiring. I went to work there. And honestly, I didn't like it because it was so competitive. So I ended up going to a smaller Asian salon and it was actually um, the person's brother. I know it's crazy. So but there I made so much money like they really teach you the Asian salons. I feel they teach you how to do things differently. They show you shortcuts. Not only that. But it's always busy. Like Asian salons are a get in, get out type salon. So it's always busy. You start on commission, usually at 50%. You can make 60 to 65% in commission, which is honestly a lot of money. Now, I was making at first, when I first started, um, at least 500 a week at the Asian salons, like with tips, of course. You make really good money. You really do. People tip well, and they just teach you a lot. Now, if you're like worried about commission, I would suggest maybe to do hourly to start. Now, I don't like hourly 
because it makes me mad that I'm only making nine to ten dollars an hour when I know that at an Asian salon, if I can do two pedicures in an hour, I can make 30 bucks in an hour. See what I'm saying? So for me, it just works better that way. But that's just me. We all feel and, you know, like different things. Some people prefer a slow environment and just getting paid hourly. Me, I like fast pace. So for me, that works. I'm a hustler. I'm used to like, you know, doing whatever is needed to make the money that I need. So everyone is different. Some people just like, you know, like I said, slow pace, hourly. I don't know. That's too boring for me. It'll, it will drive me crazy. That's just me. Now, last but not least, if you're going to do booth rental, unless you have like experience doing nails and just are really good at what you do, I wouldn't do it. Booth rental is hard when you don't know anything, honestly, or when you go to a salon that's kind of dead and you're trying to build yourself up. I would do a booth rental once you gained experience. Then I would do something like that. But honestly, like just going to a booth rental, not knowing much about nails and learning as you go, it can take you months or years to get where you need to be. I would gain experience at an hourly place, somewhere that does commission and training or an Asian salon. I don't know. That's just my preference. We all feel differently. But once you gain experience, like work, work a good six months to a year where you feel comfortable, I would definitely get a booth and make my own prices and you can make a lot more money. Now, it took me about a year and a half, maybe. Then I ended up just going to my own studio and my customers followed me. So once you build a clientele, your customers do follow you. Now, for me, when I went to nail school, I also took aesthetics. So I'm going to do um, a video on estheticians and how that works as well. I probably didn't cover anything. This is just the basics. But definitely, if you want me to do a video on something else, just post the comment below. I'm trying to think of anything else that I've missed as far as like starting a career. Some salons are more strict. They make you wear all black or makeup or just certain things. Some um, schools are even strict. I remember there was a school who made you dress up every day and wear makeup every day. Depending on where you go, if you go to a high-end salon, they're going to expect you to dress high-end. If you go to an Asian salon, it's more laid back and chill. But some do have like an all-black dress code. So it just depends. So I would say to start money-wise, you can make, I would say, 250 to 300 a week if you do hourly or commission when you first start. Once you get towards the middle, I would say 500 to 750 and then after that, you could definitely make like a thousand or more a week. Me, I'm a little bit all over, I'll be honest, because I do aesthetics and nails. And honestly, I'm like loving more of doing body contour and aesthetics right now. So then nails. So I've kind of like put nails to the back burner, which I kind of regret because I need to keep up on more of the different nail designs and different things. But I hope this video helped you guys. If you have more questions, like I said, post the comments below. I want to thank you guys for watching. Please subscribe to my channel if you haven't already. I know I haven't been posting like I should, but I will. Again, thanks for watching. I'll see you guys soon in another video. Besos. Bye.